continuing to follow breaking news in Champaign. Police have told people to stay in their homes if they're able to. This comes after looting this afternoon and protests as well. And we are going to go right to Paul Cicchini in Champaign with the latest update and on what's going on. Yeah, we're back here live just uh, outside of the Meyer gas station here at Town Center and North Prospect. And I want you to take a look behind me because there is a distinct difference uh, between now and the last time you joined me. If you take a look at the officers, they all have gas masks on. And just a few minutes ago, they did not. One of the other differences between now and a few minutes ago is the Champagne uh, Special Weapons and Tactics uh, vehicle that is uh, behind us now. So I'll have our, our, my photojournalist, Anthony, turn around. So if you see the gray uh, truck behind us, there's a megaphone um, on the vehicle and it's delivering a, a message. It's obviously not very loud and you're probably not gonna be able to hear it. The, the microphone's not gonna be able to pick it up. But what it's telling people is that it's time to leave the area. They're saying that it's an unlawful assembly. And what these officers are telling this small group uh, just in front of us right now is that they need to leave because the area is being looted. So this is an, now an unlawful assembly and everybody has to leave. So what you can probably figure out is that they're putting on the gas masks and they're telling people to leave and they're telling up it's an unlawful assembly because they're probably going to start using gas to get people to leave if they don't leave on their own. So you can see that some of the officers, uh, now they're moving. So here we go, we're gonna walk with them, uh, probably a little bit behind them. And you can expect, you can see they have uh, some batons out. Uh, you can see this officer right here in the back. He's wearing green. He has a some kind of a uh, canister dispenser, so that would be uh, used to shoot tear gas or um, uh, some kind of flashbangs. He also has a canister in his hand. And you can see some of the officers in the rear have batons. There was another officer in the front who had a paintball gun. And again, I'm going to apologize if you hear any explicit language because we really don't have okay uh, there was a glass bottle that was thrown at uh, an officer so one of uh, the officers just threw a, uh, a can a couple cans there have been thrown now some gas bottles are being thrown at the officers cans are being thrown at the officers and you can see that gas has now been deployed by the officers a large can was just thrown uh, by someone in the direction of the officers. You can see uh, the gas. So we kind of prepared you for this uh, a few moments ago by telling you that uh, the officers were putting gas masks on because you were going to expect the gas. They are ready to break this crowd up and send people home. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken, and they want to get people out of here before it's dark because once it's dark, they're going to have a lot more trouble seeing people. And they want people out of here uh, in time uh, f before it's dark, obviously. So you can see they pushed them now uh, toward the Applebee's. We've crossed Town Center. Uh, they've thrown some gas out. And now they're moving back to Town Center. They're obviously going to be walking right in front of us here. And they appear to be holding this line right at Town Center. And they're telling us to move back a little bit, but now we're in the street. I can assure you there's nobody behind us at this point, so we're okay. Town Center at Prospect is being blocked. And again, people are being given instructions to go home. We're gonna continue to uh, follow the officers here. Not too close because as I told you, people are throwing cans and bottles in their direction. Picture from you standing their ground as much uh, as they can at this point but we told you that the officers are giving people an order that right now 
it is unlawful for them to continue gathering out here because so many businesses have been broken into or looted. We're talking about Best Buy, Shoe Carnival, Binnie's. People tried to break into, we heard, Walmart, Meyer, Kohl's, TJ Maxx, Macy's, Moser Shoes, Gordman's. Uh, all of these businesses uh, were either broken into or people attempted to break into them. Uh, the, we're in uh, the middle of Prospect right now, but the street is being blocked by police. You can see that uh, people are continuing to anti antagonize the police, and uh, they're encouraging us to continue moving. We're staying behind them. The police are blocking off the street, and we're continuing to walk with them. We're trying to uh, move. And they're telling us to move, so we're moving. Trying to listen to their instructions and move. So we're moving off of Prospect right now. And we just watched somebody get pepper sprayed. I'm not sure, Anthony, if you caught that, but the people who did not get out of the street uh, got pepper sprayed. And we're going to stay with this picture so it's important that Paul to note has. That so far, uh, police have used less than lethal force. Um, and Anthony, maybe you can see, uh, I've mentioned an officer with a paintball gun. He's directly in front of our camera now. Um, I mentioned on my Facebook Live earlier that bear, or the uh, pod on top of the paintball gun is, is the hopper. That's where the paintballs are kept. He has a canister in his hand, uh, some kind of smoke canister. You saw a couple of those thrown uh, when we were on the other side of Prospect. We are right now in the parking lot at uh, Burger King. And you can see that uh, this is where, Anthony, maybe you can pan to our right. You can see this parking lot at Burger King is where, at least for now, these protesters are making a stand. And a couple people are holding signs, Black Lives Matter signs, uh, and some folks have uh, said the name George Floyd. Of course, that was the man uh, who, who died in police custody in Minneapolis, St. Paul last week. Uh, sparked nationwide protests and uh, presumably inspired this uh, protest in Champaign, but again, uh, looting at several stores up and down Prospect. And police right now have made the announcement and told several of these people that it is now unlawful to gather in Champaign because of all the looting. And the police are moving again. So I seemingly have given these people an opportunity to leave and now uh, that opportunity has seemingly passed because they are advancing their line. And in Champaign right now, we have seen officers from Champaign, Urbana, Muhammad, the University of Illinois, and Parkland College. Because as I mentioned, the sheer number of protesters in the city has vastly outnumbered the police force. Uh, the and again, I want to um, apologize for any explicit language that has been used. We obviously have no control over, over that. But police have had to leave other officers stationed outside of businesses all across this, this northern part of, of Champaign to make sure that people don't go back into any of the businesses that have been broken into. Because we've seen, as police have had to move with the crowds and leave a business entrance, that people have gone back in and tried to take something from inside and bring it back out. Uh, a couple of the officers uh, with a paintball gun you can see are now positioned with the paintball gun uh, more ready, not so much relaxed anymore, but possibly ready to uh, shoot. We don't have to fucking move, dog. 
And again, I want to apologize for any explicit language, but uh, it's also important to mention that this is not public property. I think there's some people want to stay here, but uh, the police are obviously trying to force them to go. They've already said that this is an uh, unlawful gathering at this point because uh, of all the looting that's taken place. So the police have told these people to leave and now people are starting to go. So nothing has been thrown at the police in this parking lot. So what? I don't care. What's your name? So, yeah, there's somebody here. But uh, now, yeah, somebody's here. Thank you. All right. Okay. We're going to continue to monitor that, and uh, please stay safe out there. But we do want to let you all know that Champaign police are blocking traffic to control the crowds. We do know at this time that the full road, uh, that the roads are blocked at the following intersections: Kankakee at Anthony, Prospect at Market View, Neal at Anthony, and Market at Kenyon. We also have a statement from the department saying thank you for your patience and understanding. Additional closures may be announced later. Now, we have had some people asking us if Champaign police, if the city of Champaign has implemented a curfew. They have not at this time, but they do say that people who are able to go home should stay home. Again, you are seeing this is video uh, live feed right now from Paul Cicchini and Anthony Fisher. We have been following what's been going on over there we have had some different um, incidents going on with people getting maced we also had gas deployed around 706 that was when they were trying to break people up they're telling people to go home and we also are continuing to follow the different updates throughout Champaign as well. We know that earlier, again, we have been bringing you the updates live on TV on WCIA.com, our news app, our Twitter and Facebook, but Champaign's Marketplace Mall was the scene of looting earlier today around three o'clock that's when people went into the old navy there now we also have other video that we are getting in from gordman's that's where vandals smashed windows and we're going to take that video in just a moment uh, we do know that looters stormed through the store they took items with them as well and they also again this was at gordman's police are working to disperse the crowd over there they have been working to block traffic to the parking lots there okay this is gordman's and this is where they were smash, seen smashing windows. People were uh, around there earlier today. They stormed through the store. They took items out with them. You can see that person right there running with things still on their hangers. Other people walking away, people driving by. You can hear, I'm going to be quiet for a moment, the ambulance or sirens in the background. And we do know at this time that a few arrests have been made there. Now, there have been protests all over the area. Some have remained peaceful, as we reported earlier. More than 1,000 people gathered in Springfield. We also had protests in Danville. We do know at this time that there has been uh, more of a tension escalating in Chicago as well. That's where 375 members of the Illinois National Guard have been deployed. And in just a moment, we are getting ready to take another live feed from there as well. Governor has issued a disaster proclamation. Governor Pritzker issued that, and there we go. This is from, uh, I'm going to pause for one moment. This is from earlier today. You can see all that traffic. And this is in Chicago. Look at all the cars that have been backed up over there. We do see, of course, the freeways were open there. But Governor Pritzker has signed a disaster proclamation for Cook County. You can see people looting at that family dollar store. They've deployed 375 military police officers from the Illinois National Guard to Chicago after the death of George Floyd, which has sparked protests and unrest in the city and across the country. Earlier this morning, Governor Pritzker said that Mayor Lori Lightfoot requested deployment of the Illinois National Guard. And you can see that the city of Chicago, it remains on lockdown. We have these uh, aerial shots from there right now. Demonstrations last night turned violent. Vandals and looters targeted police vehicles and storefronts. And 
we knew from Friday that more than 100 people had been arrested there. We also know yesterday there were more arrests. In a statement, the state of Illinois said uh, Pritzker signed the disaster proclamation for Cook County to quote, the to expedite the use of state resources, personnel, and equipment to help the city of Chicago in its work to keep people safe. And Mayor Lightfoot there is calling for unity today, saying the city is going to work to support those who are looking to protest, but they don't want what she is calling a, quote, small element to subvert that effort. Lightfoot said, quote, we will never, never allow an element to conflate that noble and righteous expression of who we are as Chicagoans and as Americans with the lawlessness that we saw last night, and we are not going to let that element take over our city. She said moving forward, the city would work to, quote, continue the hard but necessary work of building a more inclusive, equitable, and just city. Now, uh, again, 375 people have been deployed there from the Illinois National Guard, and this is a developing situation. You can see all these different shots of looting going on. You can see police cars that have been in the streets. Look at this burned out vehicle. This is from Chicago. And you can also see people gathering on top. And now we are taking a look again at that parking lot. Um, our own Mark Maxwell was there last night. He talked about some of the unrest that he was seeing, the looting that he was seeing, and uh, large crowds gathering in the streets. We do know that more than 100 people were arrested for Saturday's um, escalation as well. And we are continuing to follow all of the different protests the demonstrations and, yes, reports of looting in different cities here in Champaign. If you are just now joining us in this breaking news cut-in, we do know that police are recommending that people who are able to get home stay home. This is a developing situation there. And we have been following uh, one of our reporters, Paul Cicchini, if you were joining us earlier. He was there as right at 7, just after 7 o'clock, police deployed gas. They've been trying to break people up from that area. He had been over at a gas station there. And again, this is the scene from Chicago that we are continuing to look at as well because we are following all of the latest updates throughout the state of Illinois as these protests continue. And um, I want to remind people that if you do need to be out driving, Champaign police have announced road closures in multiple areas, Kankakee at Anthony, Prospect and Market View, Neil at Anthony, Market at Kenyon, and right now we have been uh, told that they have asked people to stay home. They say additional closures could be announced later, but at this time people have been asking us if there will be a curfew. We do not have that answer. Nothing has been said about that yet, but we do know that some areas police do not want people in those areas because they're trying to disperse all of these different protests that have gathered. And again, Paul Cicchini was there as gas was deployed at seven o'clock. And we have seen multiple road closures and store closures. And we are going to go back to Paul's uh, live picture right now. And he's going to give us the latest look on what is going on right here in Champaign. All right, and we do not have Paul's mic at the moment, but we will bring you more updates from him shortly. But in the meantime, what we can tell you from that area is that there have been multiple temporary closures on Sunday afternoon in this area. We do know that Sam's Club has been uh, closed. We know Best Buy, Vinny's, Slumberland, and Kohl's have all been closed. And this came the same day that groups broke into stores at the Marketplace Mall. And you can see... You can see uh, some of the gas that is out there right now. If you are looking at that live picture, there's someone running away from some of the cars, running away from the middle of that intersection. We now see someone down in the intersection and an officer walking that person away, another person walking on their own through there. But again, we saw live on TV as gas was being deployed just after seven o'clock this evening as Paul Cicchini has been out there. We've had multiple crews out in the area keeping an eye on the protests and the unrest in Champaign. We know Sam's Club was closed and we saw earlier as water bottle cases were blocking the area. Walmart in Savoy also closed and you can see police now walking through. That car just uh, drove in front of them but police are 
walking in a bit of a line. We are again awaiting more reports and they just fired more gas. And we have Paul now. So Paul, tell us what's going on right now. All right, we're live now, and I can tell you that the police have started to fire tear gas. Um, so I apologize when I'm on camera if I'm crying a little bit. But uh, they did deploy tear gas. And again, that is why they are now wearing their gas masks. So I said before, and my microphone wasn't on, but you can see that people are more motivated to leave. And the reason they are more motivated to leave now is because the police are using tear gas. And you can see that the SWAT vehicle has now pulled up again. It's just off to my right. The SWAT vehicle has pulled up, and it says, by order of the Champaign Police Department, it is unlawful to assemble right now. So they are deploying tear gas, and there is a curfew order now. So there is a curfew in place in Champaign, and people need to leave. They can't stay here. They've got to go home. And you can see now, just off to our left, that people are continuing to argue with the police. But as this has happened and police have said that it's unlawful to gather, they have already deployed uh, tear gas. Um, we got, unfortunately, a little taste of it. Uh, and if you don't know what it's like to be tear gassed, you certainly don't want to. But it burns your nose, it burns your eyes, uh, you cry a little bit. Uh, it's very uncomfortable. And it's why the police wear gas masks when they use tear gas, because you don't want to be tear gassed. But you can see that these cars are headed out. And we could see that um, downtown center toward the mall, uh, police have blocked off uh, Marketplace Mall. They obviously don't want people uh, headed toward the mall because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, TJ Maxx, Macy's, uh, Kohl's, Moser Shoes, all of these places have uh, seen looters go into the store. Um, each of these places uh, have, have been hit. Um, and there has been a uh, been looting at those stores, including Best Buy and Binnie's just across the street. All these places have been broken into, and that is why uh, there is an unlawful assembly order in um, Champaign now, and people have to go home. And again, I apologize for having difficulty talking because the police have used tear gas. And uh, they appear to have only shot tear gas once, um, but once seemed to be enough for most of these people who were down here. They left. And Paul, so, we are going uh, to cut in there. We want to give you a chance uh, to get water. As you just heard Paul saying, that he was tear gas, or he caught a bit of that tear gas that police were deploying. Uh, we want to make sure that our crews out there are staying safe, so we're going to come back to them shortly. But uh, again, he said that they have been deploying tear gas out there, and it is getting more difficult for him to speak. And we are looking right now over at uh, cars that have been blocked off. And I'm going to just pause for a moment as we are watching this to see what is going on. You can see the SWAT trucks out there. You can see police gathered in groups. This is over in the Target parking lot. And uh, Target was closed earlier today, as were more than 100 others across this, the country. Um, because of the unrest that has been going on, there was looting at a Target in Minneapolis. There was also a Target that was damaged in Georgia. Police are gathered outside of the Target here in Champaign. This is the area where Paul was tear gassed, uh, caught a bit of that tear gas. Now, we do want to clarify that police are calling for people on scene to go home. They are also telling people that if you do not have to be out tonight, to stay home. They're asking people to clear out of this area. You can see that they're all gathering and we're going to cut back in and listen to Paul again. Here in Champaign, but for now, uh, I want to apologize one more time for any explicit language that we heard. But for now, we are live in Champaign. Paul Cicchini, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Paul. And we are going to let him uh, 
take a few minutes on that as we are covering again our crews who are out there. We have had them in groups covering the unrest in Champaign. We have kept them together. Um, they have said, as Paul was saying, that some of them did catch a bit of that tear gas that police have been deploying. And we are awaiting a statement from Mayor Deb Finan that is expected to come down at 8 o'clock tonight. So we are going to be continuing to follow the latest updates on this. But if you are just joining us, as I have mentioned, there are now uh, warnings from police to stay home. I also want to run you through some of the different closures that have been put into place in Champaign. Now, one of the areas, Kankakee at Anthony, we also have Prospect at Market View, and Neil at Anthony and Market at Kenyon. Now, we did just get a statement here from the Champaign County Chamber of Commerce saying, quote, we support the right to protest COVID-19 has already caused economic harm to our local business community. Please, please express yourself peacefully. And again, those are the closures that we are looking at right now. We have been following multiple reports. This all started in Champaign around 3 o'clock this afternoon with looting over by Marketplace Mall. And we are continuing to follow the latest updates. Stay with us at 9 and 10 o'clock tonight on WCIA 3 News. Thank you.